just full of videos today. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on, you guys? Uh, it's Nate with Custom Made by Us. Um, I'm going to do another video this morning or this afternoon uh, for the printer uh, in regards to doing um, vertical and horizontal alignment checks. So, let's get out in the garage and take a peek at it. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is the application that uh, we use. Um, it comes with the Rebel DTF uh, 2402 printer. And we, after we've ripped our files to the print file format that we need, this is the application that then prints it. So um, this is also where you would, would do your head cleanings. So if I click on uh, clean, it's kind of hard to see that it says to it all. And then there's weak, normal, and strong. Uh, the reason mine looks like that is the resolution on my monitor because I uh, have my laptop hooked up to a 55 inch screen out in the garage. Um, the way that I'm viewing it, I have to change um, variables to see things better. And that's why it does that. So this is where we clean up the heads. This is where we do a nozzle check. Um, you can put the printer into wet cap mode. So it's um, keeping the heads wet while you're not printing so they don't dry out. Um, you can advance the assembly left or right. You can go ahead, you can back it up, reset, resets it to home. Uh, but this is also where we come in and make changes to our settings, like on the margins and, you know, um, the wetting strip. What side of the film is it on? Wetting strip is that line that goes down the side of the DTF film. That's color and white, the band. Um, you can specify how wide you want it to be in millimeters. What's the distance? from the X margin, uh, I've got it at two millimeters. So some information here that uh, you may or may not need. Um, this works good for my system. So if you wanna take a look at the screen, make sure your settings match or maybe you've got something different. Uh, this video though is more geared towards the print head alignment. So the Rebel printer is only a two head. So they sit um, in front of each other or front to back. So. On the adjust tab, uh, there is a step adjust. One thing you need to look at frequently is your step offset. So I use a six pass, which is set to zero, and that's what you want. What happens sometimes though, is you're printing a job. As the job is just finishing up on the printer, it hasn't finished yet. It still says printing on the screen, even though the uh, print head assembly has gone back into its home position and you start pressing the down button on the uh, control panel on the printer to try to feed the film down. If you start doing that before the printer is back in an idle state, this um, offset value will change. Normally it'll change by two. So you you want to come in here and check this depending on what pass you're doing. Again, I, I use the six pass and bring this back down to zero and save that setting. So just be aware of that. If you're pressing that up or down button on the printer control panel while the printer is not in an idle state, this step offset, six pass, this will change. And you don't want that. That needs to be zero. Head spacing is where you're checking the horizontal and your vertical alignments with the, the heads. So when you're on the, ver uh, the horizontal, I normally print them in order. So I'm gonna do the horizontal, do a print adjust, and then I'm gonna do um, print adjust on the right distance, and then I do a vertical, and the vertical, you only have one option for vertical. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on print adjust. And uh, the only options you have at this stage is to pause or cancel the print job as this sends that job to the printer. And I'll wait till this is completed. Normally it just takes a moment or two to print out that left distance horizontal print adjustment. Once my icons come back, I know the printer's back in an idle state. So I see that it's back. So now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, right distance. We're going to click on uh, print adjust. Printer again goes into the print mode. All you have is a pause or cancel button at this stage. So when it's doing this, when the printer's printing, again, if, if you were at the printer control panel and you tried to press the up or down button on the printer right now, 
that step adjust that I talked about in here on your pass, if you're just doing a six pass or an eight pass, that is going to adjust and you don't want that. So be cautious to never press up or down on your control pad on the printer unless it says the printer is idle. So that has gone ahead and printed my right distance. And now the last one we're going to do is the uh, vertical. So we're going to click vertical. You only have the one button. Uh, print adjust. I'm going to click on that. And again, the printer goes into its print mode. You can't do anything with the printer while it's in that mode. And then once that's done, we're going to take a look at these prints and see how they look. And then this is where you make the adjustments. So the way the adjustments actually take place, I'll kind of explain that before we look at the actual prints themselves that came out of the printer for these adjustments. So we'll start with, once this print is done, we'll go back to horizontal. So when I did my left distance print adjust, it prints out a graph that has zero in the center, and then it's a negative one, two, three, four, five, and then a positive one, two, three, four, five um, on either side of the zero. And you look at, it's going to be kind of hard to explain this without showing the actual, um, well, probably I just have to show and explain this on the actual camera um, because this is where you make the adjustments on H2. On the horizontal, um, you change these values here and then the same uh, goes for the right. And then on the vertical, if you're off this value here on H2, um, say you want to be on zero, but it's a plus two. Uh, that means you need to add two to your number. So instead of uh, 1538, you'd be 1540. So and then you would do another print adjust and then look at your printout and look at zero and make sure that your lines are perfectly lined up. Um, if they're not, you know, you just keep going back and making those corrections until zero shows, you know, the perfect alignment of the gray lines to the white line because the, the gray line is obviously one of the print heads and the white line is your other print head and you're trying to align these print heads together so that's how that works okay so we're back out in the garage and um, we finished the prints horizontal and vertical so you can see on the on the paper um, the film it's just like a um, kind of a graph for your left right and then vertical so i'm going to go ahead and Again, you want to make sure your printer is in idle before you ever press any one of these buttons. Because if you don't, again, you're going to change that um, step offset. So I know we're idle, so I'm okay to press down. So I'm going to press down on this until I get that wetting strip. That's W-E-T-T-I-N-G. That's the wetting strip. The purpose of that strip is, say you're printing a lot of prints, they're all one solid um, color. Say it's all white. And you got 20 feet of prints that you're gonna do. Well, the whole time that assembly head's going back and forth, all it's doing is printing the white ink. Those other channels, your CMYK channels, can start to get clogged up. So that's the whole purpose of that wetting strip is it deposits a little bit of ink from every channel on that side in that strip of the film um, that you know keeps that ink flowing so that's the whole purpose of that wedding strip let's cut this off once i've got this cut off i do make some slight let's see if i can adjust this camera down a little bit not a whole bunch but that's all right So I do cut these out so I can handle them better. So again, this is my vertical. So I'm gonna take this one out. I'll probably speed this up in post so you don't have to watch me cut out these strips. So there's my vertical. Uh, this is my right horizontal. You don't have to write, I used to write on them with a Sharpie because I was like, oh, I don't want to forget which one is which. In the lower left corner, it tells you which one it is. It says that it's horizontal or it's the right horizontal, left horizontal. 
So I was always afraid I'd lose track and you've only got the one vertical. So, and that one looks different than the horizontal alignment checks. So we're gonna take these out. So I didn't speed up the film because it didn't take that long. Unfortunately, you do waste some film to do this check, just like you do with your, your nozzle checks and all that other fun stuff. We all have consumable scrap that we deal with. So, but then I come over here. I don't have the best eyes in the world, so I use a microscope. It allows me to see things much better. So this one here is the, this is, well, I guess I could make it easier to see it if I just do this. So this is two head, it's the I-3200 two head horizontal distance left. So this is my left check. So what you do is you look for zero and you look to see where it looks the best with the inks lining up. So today I'm gonna to make some adjustments. So like right now on zero, you can see on the left side of the bar, I'm gonna to try to get my finger in there too. So on the left side of this bar right there, there's a little sliver of gray and you don't want that. So you're gonna go down the line and go, okay, which one of these looks the best? Well, to me, Looking at this, I think plus three, because even this one has, again, a little bit of a gray line right on that edge. This one here does not. So the problem though is down here on this side of it, it looks like it has a little bit of a gray edge where it doesn't over here. So you have to play this little dance when you do your adjustments. So these are in the plus, the positive side of the zero. So what I would then do is go inside of the software, the Print XP application, go into horizontal, and um, this is the left adjustment. So on the left adjustment, I would then change the value that was there. Currently it's a five. And looking at this, I think it was a plus three, if I bring it up again, uh, zero. So I think plus three looks the best. So plus two or plus three. So if I was at five in my software, I'm gonna change that to eight, seven or eight by those pluses. And then what I do is I print out another horizontal left, and then I check it again. How's the lineup look? You know, am I lining up properly? So that's how you do that horizontal check. Uh, this one here is the right side. So you can see that one looks like it's off. And then this one's in the negative, so it shows a negative three. So then on the horizontal that currently it's Right distance is a seven, so you'd set your seven to four, save those values, and then reprint an alignment, and then check it again. And as you do that, you're gonna see you're getting closer to zero. You want zero to be um, the spot. So, and these um, values, so this one is again, where's my vertical? Uh, and this is the vertical here. So if you bring this up, oh, my microscope's gonna turn it off. I got it set to auto off after a little bit of time. So I'm gonna turn it back on here. So again, zero is there. You can see it's, and what I'm looking at is that white line against that, the gray line. So you can see there's a gray line there. So in looking at this, you go, okay, if you go this way, further this way, it gets really bad. You know, the white line is way off of those two little gray lines. So if we bring this back in, you go to zero, and you go, okay, we're still up just a smidge, and then you look to see which one looks better. So negative two looks better. You go to negative four, it looks like it's getting worse. So in plus two looks worse. So you would do a negative two. So if I go inside, <clears throat> excuse me, my software application, look at the vertical distance. Right now it's 1538. So if I'm gonna do a negative two, it's, I would set the value to 1536, save it in the software, re, uh, print an adjustment, cut it out, look at it, you know, where's it at? 
and sometimes we, you'll end up going back and forth. I can guarantee, and it's kind of weird, I should have done two prints, because I can guarantee you, if I were to print these again, they would be perfect, spot on on zero. Because when I printed my print this morning for my morning test print, everything is spot on. So I know I'm not out of alignment. So I don't know why with this printer, um, I can print this the first time and it, it looks like this. And then I, without making any adjustments, I'll print it again and they're perfectly on zero. So you might want to do that. Not just print it once and make changes because it, it might already be in a state where it's, it's okay. So just keep, keep that in mind because I, I see that all the time with mine. So um, but that's how you do your vertical and horizontal alignments for the Rebel um, DTF 40 or 2402. 24 is the format, 24 inch and two is the how many heads the printer has. So, but that's um, how you do that. You don't have to do it frequently. If you start to see a shift, maybe you've had a head strike and the film crumpled up underneath your head assembly, do the alignment checks. You know, make sure the heads didn't get out of alignment when that film was underneath there mashing stuff up. So, I hope that's helpful for anybody that's having problems with their alignment. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me at uh, Nate at custommadebyus.com. Uh, again, that's Nate at custommadebyus.com. Um, we're also on Facebook. We've got a Facebook group um, with a lot of helpful uh, individuals in the group. So if you're looking for help for this type of printer, uh, go over to Facebook, search for Rebel. Um, it's D it says Rebel. I think it's Rebel DTF 2402 users group and uh, ask to join and we'll let you in and you can kind of check out what we're doing there and ask questions and again a lot of helpful guys over there so uh, i hope this was uh, informational for you if um, you like my videos please uh, click that like button subscribe to the channel uh, click the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post new content and we'll see you on the next video i appreciate you